Okay, so where do we begin? First off, I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I was stuck at work until late in the evening, so I didn't get a chance. But actually looking on it now, I'm glad that's happened because it's given me a chance to look over everything and not make a video every other hour just to farm engagement on the whole shitstorm that is happening over at BSG like some creators are doing at the minute. What I'd rather do is talk about the whole thing once and for all to give you my opinion on it. And as you know, my opinion on BSG has been tarnished for a little bit now. And it's not got any better, as you can imagine. So to give you some background, I've been playing Tarkov since December 2016, a very long time. I started making content on it very early on and that's where I grew my channel. So I am not doing myself any favors here by not playing Tarkov as frequently as possible. But recently and annoyingly more and more frequently, I am seeing questionable and shady business practices and it's something that I don't want to be associated with. I'm now in the mindset where I just want to play games for the fun of it and I'll make videos when I want to. And for about a year now, I've been really not enjoying Tarkov just because of everything associated with it. The game itself is great. The premise of the game is great, but things not being fixed six or seven years down the line when promises and promises have been made that things will get better and then shady business practices consistently over BSG's lifespan has just, yeah, made me question a lot of things. It all started when I got banned a year ago for purely expressing to the community that you could get banned for dropping streamer kits and all of that to your favorite streamer. I didn't do it. I didn't do it myself. I just tweeted it. They banned me, removed me from any communication with BSG that we used to have as streamers and content creators. And then it was only that people spoke up in those discords that were still in there saying, whoa, 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 you cocked up here. He didn't do it, that I got back into them. And then from there, more and more things have unrailed, like, you know, the microtransactions and the paying for extra stash space and all of these different things that have led us to this point, which, by the way, microtransactions were promised to never come to Escape from Tarkov. I get it, they need cash flow, but come on now, don't promise something if you're going to backtrack on it. And then the biggest thing of all has come out now, and now everyone started to go, whoa, we're not falling for this again, Battle State. Nikita, stop your shit. And that is this unheard edition that has come out with the latest patch. Basically, another reskinned EOD edition, which was a limited edition, right? It gives you quite a lot. The first thing, a major thing, is you get the gamma container in this edition. That's that 3x3 free free container that was quote unquote exclusive to EOD players. That was a limited time tier by the way edge of darkness eod but nope we'll just reskin it and throw a new name on it <laughs> it's fine and then after that you've got you know increased stash space more slots on the flea market increased malware retention time if you don't go on there every day to get your insurance back um access to the ets servers free access to all subsequent dlcs which was also a thing with eod by the way Increased fence standing, a million rubles, a thousand dollars, 500 euros, uh, a lucky scav junk box right out the gate, a weapons case, an ammo case, all of those things. Seems pretty paid to win, right? Promised that they would never have paid to win features in this game. There was already talk when EOD was a thing that that was paid to win and people were defending it. But you didn't get cases and all of these late game things straight off the bat with Edge of Darkness. You get expanded PMC pockets too. So rather than the single squares of four, you now get two single squares and then one double stack square so you can fit magazines in your pockets with this edition. Um, there's also these weird array things which allows you to call people in to a raid. I don't know how that quite works. It's It's a weird one. I don't know what that means. You get a new melee weapon, which is, by the way, a $5 unity asset this has just been ripped by the way it's not a custom entity at all it's just been ripped off the unity store and lastly and the biggest thing access to the pve co-op mode with persistent progression progression will not be reset with wipes to me that sounds like dlc and eod players were promised much like this new not really new tier that all subsequent dlcs are free 
That's where the biggest problem is. That's where the community outrage is. And then after that's announced and everything's out there, it all gets worse. They um, respond to the backlash and the disdain from the community by putting up a Reddit post saying, To honour the owners of the Edge of Darkness edition and all of their undeniable importance and role into the EFT universe, we want to plan and add the new unique features to the EOD edition. And then they did faster return on insured items, increase personal trader buying limits by 20%, increase the basic PMC karma, access to unique hideout crafts, increased basic charisma skill, special quest line with increased pockets as a side reward, the ability to skip two daily crisps per day for free, a unique dog tag, unique armbands, a unique set of clothing, unique legacy device that allows people to come into your raid, and then high priority matching for EOD owners and access to offline PvE, which is that special thing where you get to play PvE with progression, but that's only for six months. And then after that, what's then? Are you going to add just that as a separate thing that you can buy for more money? I don't understand it. You promise that nothing was going to be purchased again if you bought EOD. That's the whole reason people bought it, as sort of a buy once and you're done sort of thing. But it's just so funny how quickly they're backtracking and getting confused with their words because literally just a few hours before they put that on Reddit, they put a tweet out on Twitter saying that PvE mode is a unique feature which was only available to the owners of the Unheard Edition. So they went back on that very, very quickly. Unless they didn't think that through at all. But then again, I'm going to get on to some more things that they clearly haven't fought through. Two weeks ago, Nikita himself had a podcast with Pestili, which is probably the biggest creator in the Tarkov space. He's been around since the start, like me as well. And he's very good at being very unbiased and very middle ground. He's very much Switzerland in all of this. The Tarkov community really like to bicker and fight amongst themselves. He doesn't get involved in any of it. But his podcasts are very good when you want to go back and quote things that Nikita has promised and then backtracked on. For example, Pestilli asked him about the future plans for microtransactions and Nikita replied that it's just going to be cosmetics. Just just have a listen for yourselves. What can we expect to see with microtransactions? More clothing. More clothing for sure. We will add to some new stuff in April. Some uh, like uh, like not like 100% unique, but something new for that. And uh, that's it for now. So we are not planning adding anything. So we will add more clothing, and we will keep it for that moment. So we will not add anything like as I said before many many times, like boosters, equipment packages, currency packages, and so on. We will not add it. So it will be only about clothing and what we have. Uh, in the game right now so it's a stash expansion and uh, like cooperative mode yeah ability to play now i know this whole new unheard of edition is not really a microtransaction because you're paying a hell of a lot of money for it it's 250 dollars or from eod a 95 pound upgrade so you're basically buying the game again to get these features um it's not really a microtransaction but it basically is because you're getting just in-game items and features that should be DLC that you should be getting for free anyway. And then you do some digging, and I'm very good at finding things, and the community is very good at finding things when they want to. And EFT themselves have once again shot themselves in the foot, because back in 2017, you know, back in the good old days of Tarkov, as I call it, that's when everything was new to me still, and I was still finding out new things, a Twitter user asked... If they upgrade to the top package, that will be, you know, Edge of Darkness at the time. I hope we don't have to buy it again after beta or release. Love this game so much. They replied back then, because they did back then, because they had communication with the community back then. Um, They said, you do not need to buy anything at any stage if you have EOD. You do not even pay for DLCs in the future. Come on, I mean... They've said it in multiple places that this is unique and this is a one-time purchase for everything. They've said it all along. Edge of Darkness was the top tier for a reason. 
and now they're completely backtracking because they want to milk this game for even more money. I'm wondering how much it did Arena really cost them, and how much money did they lose on Arena because of this? This ever since Arena, it's like, yeah, we need more money. Let's microtransaction it and let's make a stupid bullshit tier that no one's going to really care about, but we're going to charge $250 for it anyway. And then another fact that supports this whole, this tier was clearly made up over one weekend over a few too many vodkas, is that Arena, which was given to you as a DLC for EOD, is not even given to you when you buy the Unheard Edition. You know, that even more expensive version that has all DLC, all DLC subsequently, you don't even get Arena with it, which is bizarre. Another thing that's quite interesting is um, the secure container was unique to Edge of Darkness, obviously. And if you read up in your profile of the Escape from Tarkov website, it will list what it gives you as a edition, right? So if you've already got Edge of Darkness edition, you can read this yourself. And it lists a few things. On the left, you can see a current version of the website. On the right, in the separate window, you can see a previous version of the website. This was changed post the release of the Unheard edition. Notice the difference. Where it says secure container free by free sales on the current version of the website, it said unique secure container in the previous version. This was changed literally a couple hours after they announced the Unheard edition, where they completely made it ununique to have a gamma container with Edge of Darkness. I can't say that I am surprised at all in this. I have bit my tongue for many years knowing BSG practices and I have not said anything. I'm not doing that anymore. So one last thing I will mention on this old unheard edition is about the distress signal that it is able to give you and now EOD gets as well, but probably for a limited time or something like that. This distress signal device is activated and it produces a bright flash as well as a loud sound. And once activated, all players on your friends list will receive a notification that they can join your raid to help you. So a distress beacon. So if you've got 20 people waiting to go in and you're getting rushed as a five man, summon your friends. Make the fight a bit more fair or unfair if you're looking at the five man's point of view because I don't know if that limits to just a couple of people or if that limits to anyone that clicks join. We don't know. Now I'm sounding very, very passionate as a whole because I've dedicated a lot of time into Tarkov. I've made a lot of videos. I've probably given a lot of people incentive to buy the game over the years. And yeah, I feel like I'm letting my community down by recommending the game for all those years. Because I've known of shady practices from years and I was encouraged not to say anything and I think others were as well. It's just one of those things, you know, it's scummy. And I want to apologise on my behalf that you guys are having to deal with it as well. Feel free to buy the $250 DLC if you want to buy it. Um, I won't be. I won't be putting any money into Escape from Tarkov until they get bought out by a developer that actually puts some love into the game because they clearly don't care anymore. They would rather cash cow it and get as much money as possible to work on their next project that they will dump or their next arena that won't be any good or their next broken cheater fest game, or whatever they plan to do next, because from the last year onwards, that seems to be all it is. There's no love in the events or anything, they're just reusing events now. There's very little communication between the devs and the community. It's shocking, really. And yeah, I'm just sorry that... If I've encouraged you to buy the game, and especially recently, you know, if you've got a couple of years of good times out of the game, then I'm glad, but especially recently, if you've just bought the game because of me, even though I haven't made a Tarkov video in a while, I'm sorry. But at the same time, you might have fun still. The game's still good. 
if you look over and gloss over these scummy business tactics and the cheater infestations and the desync and the audio and everything else that's wrong with the game. I feel like the price tag on this unheard edition is the biggest letdown. It's $250 from base price or $90 odd if you want to upgrade from Edge of Darkness. If there was a $10 fee on top of Edge of Darkness and this was an edition that didn't completely cock over Edge of Darkness players by giving them all the stuff that was meant to be unique and it was cheaper, I think they would make more money because people would be less outraged and more people would buy it. But that's, yeah, I don't know, I'm lost because I used to be able to predict when they were doing something stupid. I used to be able to call it out and then they'd brush it under the rug and then it would carry on. But I don't know how they come back from this. They will. Tarkov isn't going to die over this, but it'll certainly have more eyeballs on them. And it's a completely wrong time to have that happen. Because you've got Grey Zone Warfare coming out soon. You've got Arena Breakout, which is going to be free, and is basically the same premise as Tarkov, but just looks better by the looks of it. It's going to be really interesting in the coming months to see when new games come out that are actually fun and enjoyable, for example, Grey Zone Warfare, what's going to happen? Are people going to just mix it up and play these games in synchro? Or are they just going to jump ship and go to something new? Because I feel like that's what I'm going to be doing. And speaking of Arena Breakout, and this goes to directly to the Battlestate Games community managers and the social managers, when it comes to them making a dig at you over Twitter because they think it's funny and it was, don't then call them out for plagiarizing your game completely and saying that it will be a 20 minute adventure in and out. Because karma's a bitch and you are in no place to say sorts of things like this with the shit that you're pulling right now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit ranty. Don't get me wrong, I'm a passionate person, especially when it comes to something that I've sunk pretty much seven and a half years into. Yeah. I am sorry, but it needed to be said. And rather than making nine videos on the topic, I'd rather make one and let it be over. I'm not one of those content creators that like to make my whole channel about drama. Anyway, you'll see this video going out and then you'll probably see nothing for a little bit. So if you do want to catch more of me, come over to my second channel where I talk about photography and cameras and I'm much more chill because that's a good time. Thank you so much for watching this long video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.